역시 피스틱 좀 다시 들어주고 가겠어요. 굿 모닝. 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 굿 What can one really do when your spouse wants you to be what you really not? What is it you're not that your boyfriend wants you to be? Um, um, you see, it's not my situation. It's a friend. It's a lie. I know you too well. It's you and your boyfriend. You know, I know when you start out like this is when you tell a lie. Tell us the truth so we can think of a solution together. Okay, you're right. It's Felix. See, there are certain things I don't enjoy doing like cooking and doing laundry. But each time I visit him, he always wants me to cook and do his laundry. We had a fight over the weekend because I refused to cook, my dear. As a woman, you must know how to cook and do laundry. Those are some of the things that shows you're from a good home. I didn't say I don't know how to cook. I said I don't enjoy doing them. You must learn to enjoy them if you want to be a good wife. Ah, that's not true. You can be the greatest cook in the world. You can know how to do the whole cleaning. But that still will make you a good housewife. See, I don't encourage pretense in the relationship. If you don't enjoy doing something, then don't do it. Now, just be yourself. My dear, there are times you do certain things because of love. If you truly love him, you'll be willing to do what makes him happy, even when you don't enjoy doing them. That's not my idea of love. Accepting each other just the way you are is my idea of true love. Same with me. I, I love to eat out, give my clothes to the dry cleaner. I mean, I've always been like that. Now he's trying to make me look like one lazy girl that doesn't know how to cook or do laundry. See, you're not compatible, so call it quits. Call it quits. Ah, you are such a bad advisor. Eh? Where did you learn to counsel about relationships? I'm a realist and I love to face the fact. Listen, why most marriages don't work is because they are based on lies and pretense. The lady is trying to pretend to a guy by being what she's not, while the guy is trying to impress the lady by being what he's not. And that is pretense. And when they get married and can't pretend to each other, boom, they realize they were not meant to be together. I'm so confused right now. I, I need help urgently. Go get ready for today's job, huh? We'll talk more about this later. Call it eh? Is your head still aching? No. What about your eyes? Are they still open? No. It means you're getting better, okay? You'll be discharged tomorrow or next. Please ensure that you take all the drugs I'll be giving to you, okay? And stay away from self-medication. You almost killed yourself. Thank you, doctor. I didn't know I was taking too much of the drugs. I thought the drugs would make me get fat, so I thought the more capsules I swallow, the faster I become fat. <laughs> but that's very funny. I mean, what would have thought that most young girls will do anything to get slim, especially when it's in vogue? But look at you here trying to kill yourself with so much drugs just because you want to get fat. Don't blame me, doctor. I have my reasons. And as a matter of fact, um, I would like you to prescribe something, maybe there's something you can give me, any drugs that can make me get fat. Very fat, no trouble. I'm serious, just, just help me, doctor, please. Okay, tell me please, uh, why would you want to change your stature? <laughs> it's a long story, doctor. It's a long story. I've caught my fiancé cheating on me four different times with four different women. And all these women, they all have something in common. <sighs> it's not as if I don't like the way I am. The ladies, they all look fat. When I mean fat, very, very fat. So I have to be the way they are because my man wants something else. How long have you known this guy? Two years, doctor. I know he loves me, but I want to get fat to keep my man. Okay, uh, let me ask, um, did you, were you the one that asked this guy out or he saw you, liked you and asked you out? I'm not desperate, doctor. I'm not. He asked me out. He did. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this question to be offensive, okay? But if you say he saw you the way you are and liked you, then there's a problem. The problem is just that his taste changed, so I have to change to his taste. 
Okay, so what if you now succeed in making yourself so fat and then somewhere along the line his taste changes to liking slim girls? What would you do? getting to know each other better and to adjust to whatever it is you don't like about each other. You said adjust and not pretend. I know within myself that I would love my husband and I eat out three times a week at least. Doesn't make any sense if I pretend I enjoy cooking and only to change that after marriage. You don't have to pretend. Just learn it. Cook often. Buy books that teach about cooking. Go to a catering school if you have to. That's pretense. No. It's called adjusting, and it's normal in every relationship. The question now is, do you really love this man to want to adjust? And my question is, why must anyone adjust? Why don't you get someone that will love you for who you are? Hey, doctor, I know you don't understand my situation. Oh, I want to keep my man. I have to get fat. I'm very serious about it. But the problem is not you. It's the guy. I mean, this guy is cheating on you and you're putting the guilt on yourself. But I love him, doctor. I love him. But he doesn't respect you. See, even if you succeed in inflating yourself like a balloon, I can assure you that this guy will continue to cheat on you. He don't understand, doctor. He don't. He don't. She just said to now. Sit down and wait for her. Thank you. Ah, ah, Jenny. Now your face be this. Are you there? I'm fine. And you? I do all right, too, Jerry. Ah, ah. This your hair fine, well, well. Now for where you do? My salon. But I don't really like the hairstyle. Ah, ah. Why? It's fine now. It make you beautiful. Wait till you see me next time. Then you see how beautiful I'll be looking. Totally different. You might not even recognize me next time I come in. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to go for a facelift or something? No. But I'll be changing so many things about my look. First of all, I'll have my hair cut. Then I'm going to pierce my nose. Add two or three more piercings to my ears. Then get the upper part of my backside tattooed. Eh? Mm -hmm. You go far away well like you, yeah. By the time you do all well, free way talk now. Of course. That's the idea. Huh. Jane, are you planning to drop out of school to become a rock artist? Because the picture I have of all what you're saying after you do this to yourself is that of a rock artist. I don't want to be a rock artist. I just want to change my look. My boyfriend said I would look more beautiful if I change my look. Oh, so the idea of you guessing a new look is your boyfriend's idea, right? Yes. He told me to do all I have just said and he would love me more. <laughs> That's I'll nice. see you later. I'm going to Thank you, nurse. Thank you. Uh, um, no, sir, I discussed something with the doctor, but I know he doesn't understand me, probably because he's not a woman. Can you help me with any injection or drugs that can help me get fat? I want to be fat. I don't mean chubby. Very, very fat. I'm very serious about it. It's simple. Maybe you should always eat regularly and... I've tried all that. But it didn't work. I even eat this time daily. It didn't change anything. Please, just help me. I want to be fat. I really need to. I want the one that can walk very fast. Just any special drugs that can... You understand what I'm talking about? You ladies, just help me. The one that will be very effective. <laughs> You're sounding very serious and desperate about this. I am very, very serious, my sister. I am very, very serious. I need to keep my man. I need to. He has suddenly developed flair for fat girls. And I can't sit and watch him go away from me. Nobody will snatch him away from me. I want to keep him for myself alone. Why do we ladies often think it's a responsibility to change ourselves? to keep a man. But you're advising me to go and learn how to cook just to keep Felix. Yours is a different case. Yours has to do with value and character. 
How's this about the physical? What can you do for me, nurse? Oh, I avoid all this argument. What can you do for me? Please, I need to get fat. I don't want anybody to take my man away from me. I believe you can do it. That's why I come to you. That's why I'm telling you about it. I believe you can do it for me. Were you fat when he came to ask you out? Not at all. I was even slimmer than this. Why did he come to you when he knew he wanted someone fat? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Uh, so, uh, it's foolish enough for me to get fat for him. Yes, very foolish. Tomorrow, his taste might change to someone slimmer. And maybe by then, you're so fat that you can hardly walk. My dear, you're beautiful as you are. Thank you so much. Thank you. How are you? I'm very busy inside. You still need to wait for me, huh? Okay, no problem. Hey, no, Sarita. Come, come, come. Ah, ah. Are you aware your cousin is going to change her look? Change her look? Mm. Into what? Ah. Hey! If you see how beautiful she's going to become. She's going to bob her hair. She's going to pierce her nose. She's going to add two or more piercings to her ears. She's going to tattoo the upper part of her body. She's going to add two or more, you know, leg chains. You know, she's going to look so beautiful. Is that a joke or something? No, it's not. No, Samiga is right. I'm going to be doing all that next week and I'll be looking totally different entirely. Have you considered what you would look like after doing all those to yourself? Uh-huh. Are you her boyfriend? That's what he wants. Go on, girl. Go and do your thing and keep your man. Thank you. How can you encourage her to change her looks into that of a local ras girl? Even hers look decent these days. Ah, uh -uh, sister, me. It's just a change of look. Nothing more. Shut up, dummy. <laughs> I wish I were your sister. It would have been right for me to slap you. How can you be so stupid to agree to do that kind of thing for a guy that you're not even sure will marry you? Eh? I thought you were supporting me, Nosabi girl. You are more stupid to think I would support such a stupid idea. Ah! And Nurse Teresa. Why are you against it? It's quite adjusting, isn't it? This is different. Uh. Jane, I don't have your time now. You still need to wait for me. We have a whole lot to talk about. Huh? I can't wait. We'll see some other time. I have places to go. Come back here, Jane! Sit down. Sit down there! Come on, sit down. I will be right back. Come on, And who is your nurse? Don't look for trouble this hot afternoon. I'm not in the mood for too much talk. Where is my nurse, Titi? I need to see her on time. Sit down and wait for her. She'll be out soon. Hey, 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 come, look, look. My waist is aching. I need to see her urgently. I said sit down and wait for her. I'm also not in the mood to talk too much this afternoon. Sit Hello. Hi. Oh. Are you here to see the doctor or the nurse? The nurse. Oh, I see. You are sick or something? No. Okay. <coughs> You're here for checkup? No. Okay. Are you here for antenatal? I'm not married. It doesn't matter. There are people who get pregnant out of wedlock. I know better. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I was only joking. <clears throat> it's a good thing to know that you're not married. My name is Okafo, a.k.a. All Rounder. I'm delighted to meet you. Honestly, I'm not lying. This is the first time I've seen a lady as beautiful as you are. You see, I, I only want to know you better so that we can be good friends for starters. Mr. Okafo, how's your wife? You see, um, 
I don't like talking too much. I'm a man of few words, but plenty actions. Can I know your name, please? I'm Jane. Jane. Oh, Jane as in Janet, or just Jane? Just Jane. Oh, oh. Very beautiful name for a beautiful lady like you. Hmm? <laughs> Mr. Okafor, um, your wife came in here with one of your kids, complaining of foolish condition. Um, I hope it's okay now. My sweet angel, can we go somewhere very quiet and conducive to talk? Somewhere free of busy bodies and witches. Gee, Mr. Okafo, you just called me a witch. You've been behaving like one ever since I've known you. It's only witches that have problems managing their business. Jane, you don't want to have anything to do with this man because he's married with kids. She heard you the first time. She doesn't mind. Excuse me. Yes, please. I'm not that type of girl. So go home to your family and be a responsible man. See what you've got. No, do you see what you have got? You just spoiled a smooth conversation. A job I have almost concluded. Hey! You are a witch. Eh, uh, thank you. I'm a good witch. Hi. Oh, baby. It's obvious we ladies don't understand the concept of a relationship. It is not marriage. We ladies are fond of breaking our personal rules and totally going out of our ways because we want to keep a guy. And the irony of it is, most times, we eventually lose the guy to a lady that is smarter. That's true, Jane. Is it truth? It's just like trying to use sex to keep a guy. It doesn't work most times. It's not right to dance to a guy's tune as though he has paid your bride price. Most of the young men don't really know what they want from a lady. You might just end up messing up your life trying to fit into their unstable desires. If you have to change your look, you have to do it because you really want to, not because of some guy. Thank you. I didn't think about the whole thing properly. I'm glad I have you as my sister. I'll come around soon again. Oh, okay. Bye. 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 So, what's the conclusion about my own situation? I already told you. You have to adjust. 